What's up guys, it's Ryan from Ryan Go For It, and I'm back in Minecraft. And today, um, I'm gonna get the video started right off. I have gotten a lot of progress done. Now those trees over there that you can probably see, those aren't permanent. I've just, um, I'm just using those so I can get some wood because I'm starting up my village area. And so this here, I've just gotten done building this. This is my zombie farm. So down here, you'll see I found a spawner. I'm not sure if I've already showed this spawner part on video, but I just built the house. And also I've got a trident and I've got a lot of new villagers. So I've, uh, including a mending one. And wow, that's a lot of golden armor. I, I, <laughs> I left and the iron ingot was there and I come back and there's a crap ton of gold. Alright. Anyway, so this is kind of my way of getting uh, uh, zombie flesh because, um, what are they called? The villagers, certain villagers trade for it, and then also um, experience. So I'm gonna get my axe up to level 17, or, or not my axe, I'm gonna get my levels up to 17 because I um, wanna enchant my axe. So I'm gonna, first off, I want to show you guys around a little bit. So without further ado, let's start the tour. So right away you can see that um, I've been a little bit to the cliff and also built some stuff on it. Uh, by the way, we are in the new update, and that's not a generated cliff from the update, that's I just handmade that terraforming. So I made kind of a bottom hole style pit with the moss, T took a lot of bone meal, I probably could have just mined it out or blown it up or something, but I did that instead. Also I'm taking damage, but whatever. So we still haven't done much with this uh, little initiation temple. I'm still working on that. Now these trees, like I said, they're temporary. I'm, and I'm also gonna use, I'm not gonna leave all of this, um, all this stuff. I'm gonna change that up a little, little bit. But I've, I've got this little area mined out right here, or, or not mined out, like lined up, because I'm gonna build another raised garden like that one, which I have a raised garden here with wheat, and then a house there. And that chest just has some seeds and wheat in it. And then, obviously the nether portal. And that dispenser was just because I was trying to get a, give an ax to a zombie so to see if I could zombify some villagers. And then this house is just empty. It's still got a grass floor and stuff. Ooh, horse, perfect. So, um, I've also got a potato farm. And now I've got a horse that's, whoa, he's a good jumper. That's good, because I'm not sure where my other high jumping horse is. I have a horse named Rocky. He, um, I'm not sure where I put him, but he, uh, he jumps about, like, five blocks, I'm pretty sure. This guy's pretty good, too. So let's see how high he can jump. Actually, is he back there? Well, let's see. Uh, um, one, two, three, four. That's four blocks there. Well, four. All right. He made it up four easily. Ooh. All right, that's one, two, three, four, five. All right. This is how we'll test him. And he jumps five blocks. Nice. So... Anyway, now I've got a new horse, but that's beyond, besides the point. I've also got a um, little en an enchanting area down here. There's Kate Cat. Got two new cats, Iron Golem, uh, and a lot of villagers. So, yeah. Um, and I need some chicken or something. I'm hungry. Uh, let's see. What do I have to trade for these guys? Because I've got a butcher that sells stuff. Is that? Okay, that's the horse that I just got. Hey buddy, you find you know, um, let's see. About Michael. Nothing? Oh. You You're a weaponsmith, why are you by the That's for Toolsmith, isn't it? Weaponsmith is grindstone. Anyway, whatever. Um, nope, nothing about from you. What about butcher. Probably not. Wait, 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 I might just have some in the chest, because I know I had some. Come on, I don't have any chicken. Because the butcher sells like cooked chicken, it's really a pretty good deal. Because he sells like six for one emerald. How do I not have any chicken? Anyway, I I've also gotten a lot of work on the bunker, as done on the bunker as you can see. And I the reason I built this house over here on this side, also campfire, wow. Wait, do I take damage? Oh, apparently I take damage on that. Um, the next thing I'm gonna show you is the most important thing out of all of this. 
and I probably shouldn't even be showing it on camera because of how top secret it is, but I built something amazing. So you notice how I don't have a shovel in my inventory. Remember the shovel at the beginning of the series that Greg X Plays made with the one diamond that he had? He said it was for protection, five damage. Well, this is supposed to be covered up, but, and we also found pink sheep, Boba Thief. Well, here it is. So I, I made this like secret area for just the shovel and Boba Thief. And um, I'm, I'm gonna expand it later. I'm not gonna leave them in this cramped area. Now, I did some pretty good redstone with this, but it's not the right time of day. Okay, so what I have here, I have like a timer set up. Here, Boba Thief, get back in so I can shut this and you don't die. Anyway, there's this thing where it opens up right here. So, Boba Thief, you good? Man, I don't like this shield. It's annoying, it gets in the way, all right. Okay, Boba Thief's good. But anyway, so it opens up like, I have like a timer, it, it opens up a little bit after. So after you open the door, then the daylight's supposed to shine, you know, shine through it. But here, watch, I'll, sh I'll show you, I'll give you a little demonstration with, with that stuff. So you open it, and then it is supposed to open, but, Robothy, no, in, there you go. Good pink sheet. I'm always so worried about him. Ah. Okay, yeah, I always worry about him, though, because it's like, I don't want to shut it on his face, because he keeps on walking back and forth. There we go. All right, Babathy. No, other way. I'm not going to hurt you, Babathy. All right. There we go. Anyway, yeah, so that's that. And um, I figured Greg X Place would get a kick out of that, because every time he dies, we try and take his shovel. But um, now... It's kind of secure, not super secure, considering the fact that now everybody knows where it is. But hey, I might move that lever in the future anyway, so that's fine. So yeah, I've also got this house built. I really like this house. Uh, I spent a lot of time, this stuff isn't supposed to be here. I spent a lot of time with Greg X Place designing this house. And um, yeah, so there's supposed to be a lantern. That's supposed to be down and there's supposed to be a lantern supposed to be somewhere anyway so yeah this is kind of like a little just a little cottage deal but um oh and apparently home to baby zombie yeah um yeah so i've got a lot of work done and i know it's kind of um frustrating for you guys probably because it's like well you've been gone for so long i'd assume you wouldn't be doing work but i have been doing work i just haven't been like filming it and i keep on recording stuff and then it keeps on getting like uh, the recording gets messed up or like accidentally deleted or something or it's not video quality and I've been trying to just make better videos and so oh yeah I have a waterfall too I'm not sure if I showed you that but yeah I've just I've just been trying to make vi better videos in general so I'm working on that but yeah so let's see I've got this area here I want to mine this out up here and because I started to build up on this and then I realized that if I just get rid of the dirt the stone looks just as good. So I wanna mine some of the stone, or mine some, get rid of some of the dirt instead of placing more stone because it might save me a lot of time and money, or time and stone, but, um, and a little bit of andesite. I've got about 12 villagers. Now, now's a good chance to show off all their trades, actually. So let's see, there's first this guy. I haven't done much with him. He's a farmer and yeah, so, this guy, Weaponsmith, right? Yeah, Weaponsmith. That's, he's not, it's not the, it's not an awesome trade. Because I haven't, this guy hasn't been zombified and healed, but. And this one is an awesome trade. Because literally, you know how it takes so long, usually, to go back and forth over and over again? Breaking the lectern, placing a new one, pla breaking the lectern, placing a new one, or even placing it again? It took me like three tries to get mending for one emerald and a literally for one emerald in a book and it, it would have been 12 which i was surprised because mending such a big deal but also these lanterns because i'm going to use those in basically every single strip that's up here and then pamela which you already know her probably trades um efficiency four which is very good and as well as that 
what is that, Riptide 1, which I should use on my Trident, and Silk Touch, because my villager, Billy, he had Silk Touch, and I, he just kind of disappeared. Now there's Dwight, which he's Max Cartographer. He sells mainly these is what I'm liking is the item frames because the item frames are very useful. I use the I bought my item frame from um, from Dwight to use for the shovel shrine thing, diamond shovel shrine, and uh, so that was generous generously sold by him. I was gonna say generously donated, but I paid an emerald for it or two emeralds actually. How come it's two emeralds, but this this thing is only one emerald that's weird anyway yeah so oh he trades compass for emerald that's cool uh yeah so there's that guy and then michael obviously trades my armor that's why i have such good armor is because michael trades that and then now we've got oh okay does this guy even do anything oh that's a leather worker yeah so he does that um, I'm not sure what, I'm pretty sure the leather workers trade saddles or something later on, so that's why I got him. And I got this guy for the books. And also, loyalty three, so that's nice. And what other trade does he have? I know he has something else. What is that? Oh, it's lure, that's right. Okay. So yeah, there's that. Now, if I trade one emerald for four glass, if I trade two emeralds for, that'd be eight glass. And then six glass makes... 16 glass panes, and then this Dwight, right? Yeah, he trades six glass panes for one emerald. 16. I might be making a profit there. I, I gotta do the math on that. But, um, next up, we've got this guy, which he's my stonemason. Ah, man, I, I make so much money off of this guy. Also, wait, hey, 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 man. I gotta have my um, pickaxe in my hand, so I, when I get levels from trading with them, I actually mend something. So yeah, um, this guy's pretty cool. And now, let's see, I'm just gonna trade, do that. that. Oh, I figured it would do that one. Anyway, yeah, so now, where's my emeralds? Oh, there they are. Okay, you know you know what, you know what? One more, one more emerald, one more. Oh, nice, I can get bricks now. Wait, 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 that's not what I want here. here. All right, there, boom. All right, nice. Now, got that stuff. So actually, Okay, horsey, can you move, please? Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to trade uh, rotten flesh with this guy. And I don't have rotten flesh with me. That's weird. Um. Okay, so that's that's a big trade. I'm going to have to do that later once I get my rotten flesh for my zombie farm because I've gotten a lot of stuff in there. How did you... He's the leather worker. He was over there. That's weird. Okay, well, I'm going to showcase him twice, apparently. Okay, so this is my leather worker, guys. He trades... Um, for seven emeralds, you can get... A leather tunic died and for six leather you can get one emerald so that is a very bad deal that is an awful deal other than the dyed part but oh come on i wanted to oh yeah and fletcher fletcher he's a good one um now with this uh arrow thing i'm not sure if that i'm pretty sure that's a swiftness arrow or something i was hoping it'd be an arrow of weakness because that's what i want for like healing the zombie villagers instead of making, having to make the splash potion. But yeah, so there's that. Let's see, he trades a bow for, with Unbreaking 2, which isn't particularly good for 16 emeralds. But he does trade for a crossbow and for some arrows too. So actually I'm gonna buy some arrows right now because he has a really good deal on arrows. So is that. Now I'm gonna have to go back and get some stuff for this guy. Actually, I was gonna AFK, wasn't I? Now I'm actually back, I'm going to do that time lapse, and after the time lapse of this, I'm going to explain to you guys what I'm going to do next with my, um, the rest of the building, and I'll start working on the bunker. So without further ado, I shall get working on my grinding. Three, two... One, let's go.
Alrighty, so now we've got about 18 levels and I've got some uh, rotten flesh with me because I'm going to go down to my cleric, that's what it's called. And ooh, there buddy. All right, no, 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 blow up. Don't blow up. Stop. Oh, why are there always creepers in that hole? Every single time, there's always creepers in that hole. All right, good thing I've got loyalty, so I can just kind of do this. Just hope there's nobody behind me. Because I don't want to lose those levels. Oh, crap. Okay. There you go, creeper. Come on. What? It was at this moment that he knew. Ah, no! Oh, that baby chicken friend. Oh yeah, yeah, I should get this uh, experience. Yeah, so as you can see, I get experience back pretty quick from this stuff. Now let's see, can I make it into the hopper? Can I get in the hopper? Come on. Also, if I stand back here, I wanted to show you guys this. If I stand back here and I like kill the zombies, the levels actually get stuck. You might be able to see it. They get stuck on that like right, you know, in that corner there, where my cursor is, so I can move to my pickaxe, and then I can go, and then I get more levels, because it gets stuck, like, right there, I was out adventuring, I, that's another thing I wanted to tell you guys, I was out adventuring, and I found the portal, and so it was in this, like, ravine, and I go, and I'm about, I, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna jump down here, and see if I can find it, um, and then, I'm, I'm like, man, this is gonna take me so long to find it, though, and then I break a block and I fall straight in and start getting attacked by endermites. I fall straight into the um, into the portal area. So it was, that was pretty cool. It was right there, but so now I'm gonna go do this. Let's see. So now you trade. What do you? What's your highest? Gold. Oh, that sucks. That is gold. All right. Well, I'm gonna get some lapis from this guy. Now that's one, one, two, and about it's about two something. Uh. All right. That shouldn't take too much gold. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some more lapis. Oh wait, 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 wait more emeralds. Okay. I might I might just be able to make it just from lapis alone. So now let's see. Actually no. Yeah, I figured that wouldn't go too far. Alright, gold time. Alright, we'll see. Let's get some gold. So, I've gotten a lot of stuff. I went on adventuring, I went mining, and got a lot of deep slate stuff. And my, my inventory was so full. So, um, see, I also have a lot of gold, luckily. Also, a lot of raw gold as well, which I will also use. Actually, I might as well just smel smelt the raw gold and leave this. Well, yeah, I'll leave this. Well, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, soup, soup. That's right. I, uh, as well as chicken, I also have this rabbit stew, which is very good um, as far as healing wise. So um, that it, it goes up probably like I'm not sure. It goes up a lot. Where did that bowl go? Oh, there it is. It's weird that I just threw it. But anyway, all right. I I didn't throw it. My character did. But anyway. There was chicken, I just saw chicken. I know I saw chicken. Maybe it was raw iron, nope, it was cooked chicken. All right, right there, boom. Yeah, so I get a lot of chicken now because of the, um, whatever it's called, the villager guy. So this episode, I'm planning on working on the bunker a little bit more on camera this time. So let's see, there's gold here. Come on, where are you, stinking villager? Go. Oh, he's right over there. Nice, perfect. Didn't go to bed. He's a smart villager because he knows I want to trade with him. This is a magical villager. Oh yeah, that's right. I should probably smell that first. So there's that, that, and let's see what else do I have smelting? I have a lot of furnaces in there. Very unorganized. Actually, I should make a furnace room. But yeah, so oh yeah, I was going to show you. So there's going to be a trading hall down here. You might have seen in the in the trailer. For Bunker Bros, uh, episode three, which I'm not sure why it was just specifically for episode three. Anyway, it was a trailer. Now I'm gonna make. Let's see. I'm gonna make a trading hall, and it's gonna go all the way down this way. So it's gonna go pretty far. 
anyway, I was going to work on that. But yeah, see how fast my pickaxe mines? It almost mines faster than creative, it feels like. Or not faster than, but as fast as. So that should be as far as it goes. Because um, I measured it out. And I have a design in a test world, which I... Um, you've probably seen if you've seen that if you've seen that trailer so I'm gonna start mining this out and I'm gonna get this into a time-lapse because obviously don't want to just see me mining this out unless you want to watch a stream which I'm not sure if I can stream yet because YouTube requires I'm pretty sure 500 subscribers to stream but thank you guys very much because we're getting very close to that 427 uh, as I'm filming this I'm pretty sure that's the amount I have but yes yeah, so it's really good getting up there and so, uh, yeah, there's that. And let's see here. What else do I have to mine? Um, yeah, so thank you guys. Honestly, it's it's pretty awesome. I know I sound like one of those generic YouTubers. Thank you guys so much for all the support. But um, honestly, it is pretty cool to know that there's so many people that actually watch my videos and, you know, are willing to subscribe. It's pretty awesome. And it was funny because I... Uh, when I released that video of my cat that got like 19,000 views suddenly, that was insane. But uh, a bunch of like 70 bots subscribed. That was the uh, minus 70 subs instantly thing, that video. Uh, that was because it was bots. I'm pretty sure somebody commented and kind of explained it to me. Because like the video got so many views, like some bots started subscribing as well as actual people. So 30 people actually subscribed from that video and I got 19,000 views and then just stopped because it said, like, it, it was weird. The analytics, it said, like, 19,000, then it said 20, or 12,000 or something. It was being really weird, but anyway, it said that, and then it said, um, it started to say, like, it was in two different spots where it was showing the views. Anyway, it went from 12, and then it kind of showed, like, it was at 12,000, and then it, it was really weird. But anyway, it just stopped at 19,000. Like, that was just, that was it. It just decided, nope, 19,000, that's all we're going to do for you. And then just stopped at that 19,000-something views. And it still hasn't gone up, other than, like, me watching it to show my friends, because it's actually a funny video. But, um, yeah, so I've got to mine up, because when I was building this, I didn't consider the fact that it's going to be kind of hard to mine, you know, up while I'm mining, you know? Um, so I've got to mine... A total of nine blocks high which kind of stinks because I don't have you know uh, that many blocks or you know it, it, it re my reach is like seven blocks high so there's that but um anyway I am going to start doing a time-lapse because I'm talking way too much also I just kind of noticed
Alrighty folks, so now we've got all this done. Uh, time lapse is over and ooh, zombie, bye bye. Now, we've got all this land cleared out. Now what I want to do with this area, I'm probably, I'm actually considering building a house up there. Um, like a bigger house than the normal village houses. And having that as my kind of main house so I don't sleep in the bunker. But, um, because obviously throughout this world I'm going to have different houses because my plan is I'm going to, oh hey, I got a zombie in there, that's cool. Oh, hopefully I get some of his armor. Yeah, never stood a chance, alright. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to be building out from the basic, you know, the medieval style all the way out into a, like from medieval and build a castle out there. Uh, cat yeah, somewhere out there. And then go to colonial style and then keep on moving up in time with my build styles until I've got, oh yeah, I put that dirt there. But anyway, keep on moving up in time in my build styles until I've, um, you know, gotten to like sci-fi, cyberpunk st kind of stuff. That's always scary. Every time I walk in here, seeing the um, villagers gone, but they are in here. So I've got all this stuff done as you can probably see. And I've also got this strip of stuff here I didn't have in the time lapse. But I did another did it in another video that ended up being way too long and I had to cut it out. But um, that's just to hide the redstone because I'm gonna have a redstone that pushes all these down and blocks the villagers from for when there's a raid. And so that's what that is. Um now I know I have Let's see, which one of these villagers doesn't have a job to do? My, Michael, that's right. And so, yeah, there's that. But I'm also planning on building a house up on top of that deal. So that will be next episode if I do build a house up on top of there. But it, um, yeah, I mean, it'll that'll be more of a starter base type of house. Because as you can see, I did not really go for a starter base type of base when I started this world, I straight off went to the gigantic bunker, um, which, of course, gave me a lot of time to figure stuff out for what I'm going to do. So I spent a lot of time on this, and I hope you guys actually enjoy it, because um, I've been trying to make higher quality videos, and um, actually I haven't really taken a look. Oh, I gotta check the map. I gotta redo the map. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, it's right over there. So that adds on to it pretty well. So yeah, so I've got all this laid out, and obviously I'm not going to have cobblestone too much for the base of the house. I'll have more of, um, uh, you know, stone brick. It, and it'll basically be the same kind of co color palette, you know, block palette as this house here. So, without further ado, I will end this episode, edit this episode, and then work on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is probably going to be a longer episode, but that... Uh, hopefully that doesn't bother you too much. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like uh, hit the like button if you liked it. If you didn't like it, I encourage you to hit the dislike button. And if you want, you can give me an entire paragraph on why you don't like it. But hopefully you don't do that. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to end the video now. So thank you. Okay, thanks for getting the shot, Iron Golem. Your Squidward, whatever your name is. <laughs> So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet and you want to subscribe, uh, feel free to. Um, not forcing you to. Nobody's forcing you to. Just do it if you want to. But, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.